to be working on. Okay, so as a follow up to the Adobutan project, Caribbean yes. Sea modified the design of the constructed wetland. We changed it in that instead of using concrete blocks for the structure, we had poured concrete reinforced with um, steel. And um, our engineer on this project, Mr. Gunai, did a few changes with the, in, um, the design. So we're looking at here at Olio, connecting about four households, three to four households based on the level of water use to this constructed wetland because in this area there's a very thin layer of soil so the superway is ineffective because there is no superway, it just runs straight into the ravine as you can see and we're going to connect the superways to this constructed wetland where it will have a longer time for it to filter, to remove nutrients and through anaerobic digestion break down the um bacteria and other bacteria that come out to the water course. Um, one of the residents in this area told us that before the, this area suffers from serious water shortages. So before they would use the ravine at the bottom of this hill for washing clothes but now because of the high level of pollution they can't use out there anymore. So ideally we would like to You want to tell us a little bit more about Caribbean Sea? Okay. Caribbean Sea is a NGO registered in St. Lucia locally, but it's originally out of Tennessee in the US. We work with children um, and community groups doing clean water initiatives, projects that look at river, riverine, and marine um, water. So we work with students, teach them about the environment, work with groups on projects such as this. Accommodate a maximum three to four households, let's say around three households. Um, there's a capacity of 300 gallons of water which can process at, at, at full, 100 gallons of sewer per day with a retention time of 30 to 36 hours basically. So the whole idea is that the water comes in from the um, toilet systems, that is the, 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 the water exiting the toilet tank, mm -hmm. comes into that system, it goes through a distribution chamber, it drums some drum replace inside there, and from there the water spreads laterally and vertically goes down. The idea is to kind of re destroy the bacteria basically for lack of oxygen, so the idea is to create an anaerobic system that would destroy the bacteria over a period of 30 to 36 hours and then from there when the water gets to that point it exits the system um, vertically from down goes up into a drum into a bucket the water, from that bucket the water is released out, out out of the system and into the environment with less less harmful bacteria less phosphates less nitrates in addition to that we have we're supposed to have some planting material to put into the medium that is uh, an organic medium which is of coconut husk as you can see there below and we will have um, wild ginger plants growing inside there. The, the idea of the plants is one to add oxygen to remove nitrates, phosphates and other nutrients that might otherwise pollute the, the riverine system. Basically that's what it is all about. Now this is the second system being built in Odeon and how is this an improvement on the first system? Well this is the first system was constructed out of bricks, that one is constructed out of concrete for steel. And this is good because? Because it, it makes it more rigid and more, more, more resilient. For example, if you have a light um, tremor, a little of tremor with the blocks, you might have a, a, a crack and create fissures in the blocks and disable the entire system. With that, it is more resilient to light tremors and movement and whatever. And even any accidental knocking of that system, we, not, we do not crack it open. Um, financed by Adding Free Camp with the assistance from engineers from the University of Vermont. We came together with the local engineers, engineer from the ministry, and they, they were able to design that small unit too. 
um, assisting the processing of, uh, of wastewater basically. And that is the final output of it. You have a, a small flower garden and below you have the, waste, the wastewater being processed and purified before it enters into the environment, before it enters into the environment.